If you think this is a political stunt, then do you think Republicans want the border crisis to continue so it's an election issue this year in 2024? Yes. I mean, I think you've had some of them, including President, former President Trump, who said that explicitly. So, you know, we don't have to worry about what's going on behind the curtain. They've drawn it back so we can take a clear look at it. And by the way, there have been other Republicans, and certainly in the House, who've made statements like that, too. So it's pretty clear that uh, this is, you know, an explicit political strategy on their part. Um, they want to move forward with the impeachment, um, and they don't want to have a, a legislative fix because they think it'll help them, you know, in November. Uh, but I'm hoping that Senate will come forward with a bipartisan effort that we can we can move forward and get things done. And I think the Senate's, you know, I, I think the Mayorkas impeachment's, you know, gonna die when it gets to the Senate anyway. So, uh, you know, I'm a member of the House. Uh, I certainly have a great respect for this this institution and this chamber, but unfortunately the Senate has is having to be the adults in the room right now. I know you said that immigration has been a problem in this country really for 40 years or so, but do you think that the asylum system needs an overhaul? Well, I think that's one of the things they've talked about that they're looking at, you know, a, 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 you know, the asylum issue. Um, and, and, you know, I, I think some of the parole issues as well. I know there are going to be a lot of issues that a lot of us want to talk about, like the Dreamers, for example, too. I don't know that everything's going to get in the bill. and. You know, usually when you have a good compromise, things get out, left out that, that the other party wants and you're not totally happy. But I think we'll have to see what we get. The big question though is, um, can we move in the right direction? I don't wanna let the perfect be the enemy of the good. If we can get something good that's helpful to the American people out of this, let's do it. Do you think we can move in the right direction? What is a compromise looking like? Because it's not sounding too optimistic when the speaker is essentially saying this is dead on arrival. Well, you know, the speaker's saying a lot of things these days that, that aren't really coming to pass. Like, for example, um, he's going to move all 12 appropriations bills. Like, for example, he's going to be able to uh, avoid shutting down the government without government support. Um, and think about all the bills that are pending right now that he hasn't moved, whether it's aid to Israel, whether it's aid to Ukraine, whether it's the Pfizer revision, whether it's the um, the farm bill. Um, he's got a lot on his plate, and I, I don't know if he's overwhelmed or what, but um, it seems to me that if he can get a package from the Senate that looks good, is positive for the country, and he can get enough votes to move it forward, he really ought to take it. He's got a lot of other fish to fry that he's having trouble taking care of. This would be a big, uh, a big win for the House Republicans, for the House Democrats, for the Senate, for the country as a whole. Congressman Glenn Ivey, thank you so much for the time, for the important conversation. You're welcome back anytime. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it.